happy Wednesday and I'm going to be doing a peacock inspired makeup tutorial. This is the look here. It's quite dramatic but I'm going to give you some tips along the way if you're a bit scared by this and you want to kind of tone it down a bit as well. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. I'm going to start off with my eye makeup first just because we're using quite dark eyeshadows and I don't want to have lots of fallout under here if I've already done my foundation and concealer. So I'm going to prime the lids first just because we want the colours to come out nice and vibrant and really reflect the colour of a peacock. Then I'm going to apply a light or medium green colour to the inner kind of third of the eye. Then I'm applying a turquoise shade to the central part of the eye. And then I'm going to take a dark blue shade on the outer third of the eye and I'm going to slightly wing this out. So all I'm going to do is to take the blue and then follow the natural crease of my eye and just come up slightly. Of course if you want to do a less dramatic look then you can completely skip the step but this is what I'm going to do just to give a bit more shape and I'm just going to link it back up. We're just using a rough guide here, um, you don't need to be too neat about it and then I'm just going to go back and fill in with the I'm going to take a clean blending brush I'm just going to start on the inner part and just lightly work the colours into each other so we get this kind of nice gradient effect. Now I haven't blended anything into the crease, that's because I'm going to take a purple colour just on a liner brush and I'm just going to draw a line through my crease. Now of course again if you don't want to go quite so dramatic then you can completely skip this step again but I'm just going to add another colour to kind of blend it all together. I'm also going to add this colour to the very outer section of the dark blue. And then again with our blending brush, I like to hold the brush at the end and then use really light circular motions just to buff this into the crease. Okay, so I just cleaned up all that mess that was underneath my eyes with just with some makeup remover. Next I'm going to move on to some liquid liner and I like to start in the middle and use really small strokes and then kind of join them up, otherwise I get into a bit of a mess. And you don't want to spoil all your beautiful handiwork at this stage, so just take it slowly. And I'm just going to follow the line I kind of created with my eyeshadow. And then I'm going to join it back up into here to create kind of a wing. Again, if you don't want to go quite so dramatic, then you can just use a thin line of liner if you want to. Or you can go all out like I am. And then I'm going to apply just some black pencil liner to my waterline and as you can see mine's kind of a dwarf one so hardly any of it left. Next I'm going to highlight the inner corner with this really pretty gold colour and I'm just bringing this round the inner part of the eye and then kind of underneath the lash line. Then I'm going to take this turquoise liquid liner and just trace underneath my lower lash line and if you don't have a liquid um, or like a coloured liner, you can just use a um, use that turquoise eyeshadow we used on the middle section. Okay, dokie. Next, I'm going to use a purple glitter liner. I'm just going to follow just above where I put my black liner, and follow that line all along. And so we've got kind of like um, three lines going on now, with the black in the middle, and then a purple and turquoise either side. This just kind of incorporates all the colours into one in quite a fun way. Okay, the final step for the eyes is the lashes and I'm using these really cool false ones which kind of flutter out at the end because so it kind of has that feathery effect for our peacock look. Of course, if you're going for a more, um, I'm not going to say neutral, but less dramatic look then you probably want to skip this step, but I'm going to go ahead and apply these. So on the bottom lashes to give them kind of fluttery, feathery effect too. Now that the eyes are all done we can move on to the skin and I'm just going to press some foundation in with a stippling motion. So I want quite a flawless look so that the eyes really stand out. I'm going to apply a little concealer just to brighten up underneath the eyes. I'm going to powder my face to get rid of any shine. And to finish it off I'm going to go fairly neutral with the lips seeing as the eyes are quite crazy with just a pink shade. So this is the finished look. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have some fun recreating it. As ever, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!